Good evening, UMass. My name is Mark Jean Louis, and here's your post Super Bowl edition of the Sports Desk. Ladies and gentlemen, the big event has come and gone. Last year, the lights went out, and Ray Lewis ascended into the heavens of pro football immortality. This year, the same could not save Peyton Manning from the Legion of Boom, as the Broncos got pounded by Seattle 43 to 8. Things started off bad for the Broncos when 12 seconds in, the ball sailed over Manning's head and out of the back of the end zone, putting the Seahawks up 2 to nothing. In the weeks leading up to the Super Bowl, Richard Sherman called out Peyton Manning's passing ability, calling the balls he throws up to his receivers ducks. 321 before halftime, that's exactly what happened. Manning attempted to throw a pass, but under heavy pressure, he was rocked and threw a duck that fell right into the arms of linebacker Malcolm Smith. He took it 69 yards into the end zone to put the Seahawks up 22 to nothing at the break. The Broncos went into the second half looking for a spark to get them back into the game. Well, folks, just when you thought things couldn't get worse, they did. They set up a short kickoff intended to keep return man Percy Harvin from breaking a huge gain. Instead, they surrendered an 87-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, making the seemingly impossible 22-point hole even deeper. If there was any hope left with Peyton Manning and the Broncos, it was gone right after that. Denver was able to put up a touchdown at the end of the third quarter, but by then it didn't even matter. It seemingly looked like the game was well over before it even got off the plane in East Rutherford. Malcolm Smith was named your game MVP. As far as your Boston pro sports go, the Celtics played on Sunday afternoon hosting the Orlando Magic at the TD Bank North Garden. The Celtics picked up a win 96-89, improving the 16-33 on the season. Improving, to say the least. Rajon Rondo led the way for the Seas, logging in 19 points on 6 rebounds and 10 assists in 27 minutes on the floor. Jared Sollinger also recorded a double-double with 21 points and 12 rebounds. For the Magic, Nikola Vukovic scored 14 points and 11 rebounds. The Seas will take it on the road tomorrow to take on the Philadelphia 76ers at 7 p.m. The Bruins had a great showing at home on Saturday against the Edmonton Oilers, defeating them 4-0. Goalie Chad Johnson had a stellar showing on defense. He registered 22 saves in the shutout win. The Bees are taking on Vancouver's Canucks and will next take on the St. Louis Blues at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis on Thursday. I'm Mark Jean-Louis at your sports desk. Stay tuned for JMS with your sports, spring sports preview.